All right, so today it's supposed to rain midday. It's already sprinkling. It's a little scary. That's one of the other guys that work here. I don't think he knows what I'm doing. Um, I was thinking maybe I could get the green. After it's done raining in the afternoon, maybe I'll stick around here another day. And maybe uh, I could get the green cord, the longer one, that I can extend to this chair. I'll bring the laptop, the green cord, and I sit plugged into some electricity and and play on the laptop that's a possibility I gotta wait for that rain to clear though it's already sprinkling I keep I just have to it's making me nervous all right but uh, it's not getting so bad that I'm gonna unplug yet and and get, give up the morning to the morning charge but I can I can come back in the afternoon I know this works even though it's still stuck on 32. Oh yeah, they're getting sprinkled on. Maybe I'll just abandon and come back in the afternoon. This works. All right, it's a success. I think I'll abandon the charging until the afternoon. Uh, I gotta test the car, make sure the battery's good. I should probably run that. It's been sitting for two days. This is day three. I wanna make sure the car will start. If it doesn't, I can... I've been thinking I should probably get a new battery like any time at this point if this battery is not going to hold a charge for very long so this is a twice boiled potato i boiled it first for the fish and there's fish oil still in here i'm still using the liquid and then again for the chicken it seems in good shape i tested the car battery simply by uh, starting the car and it was strong the battery is full and I, I just didn't realize that, uh, you know, when you drive 150 miles, that's going to be plenty of time to charge up the battery for a few days. So I, I was I was getting a little worried because when I was hanging out in Edmond um, for a few weeks, my battery, and I was driving back and forth, my battery was really getting weak. But uh, you just make a long drive, 150 miles, and I could sit for a couple of days and still have a nice strong battery. All right, I'm mad at myself that I want to eat more. I ate a lot already, and yet I could go for some more food in some way. And I knew this weightlifting would cause the hunger issues to increase. My health problems have gone down, but my hunger has increased. So maybe I'm going to cook some boat bran with this... Uh, muesli mix i was thinking oats oats would mix best with the muesli because there's there's some almonds in there and i need to dilute those almonds dilute the raisins but maybe this can sit in the way of oats oats gen in general i just wonder what problems will come out from eating too much i love i'm loving food and i i i feel like i don't want to have anything soggy i can't have anything fresh something i need something i don't need toast it doesn't it's like i'd compare it to on the level scale of just having a piece of bread or having a piece of toast i'm in the middle of that on uh how i think i should eat right now how it feels right now it's pretty much i'm judging from my chin down to my stomach on on how uh, much like mucusy it, it kind of feels like gunkiness or whatever um, is it dry? Is it too soggy? I think it's slightly a uh, soggy feeling. So I want something that's cooked for sure. Generally, you default to cooked foods anyway. I do have my regrets about forgetting to put potatoes in here. I would have cut up a potato and tossed it in here too to cook, uh, but I forgot. All right, so I put some cinnamon on this and ate it, about two spoonfuls. Crushed it first, and then now it's chicory root. Because so I'm not uh, boy, I'm not cooking this down to a drier state, so I want to add herbs. What's the question again? How long do you plan on being here? All right, don't let me catch you. What's your name? Oh. Well, why don't you say that? Okay. Okay. I did. You didn't? Well, will you be mad? 
Well, you should have, you got to say who you are before. I did. So. Just some random guy come up to me and starts threatening me. What am I supposed to think? <clears throat> manager has no problem with this truck and look how empty it is nobody around and he's tired of me being here Hi. Hi. What are, you doing? are there any uh, pictures of the uh, manager of the store here like you know you see some Walmart so have like a happy to help you and a big picture next to that when you enter the store that I miss him. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who the guy with the mustache. I don't know if you got pictures of the manager or whatever. Oh, is it something in there? Okay. Where was he at? Do you know? Yeah, he's in a truck. He just approached me and just, I don't know, he started telling me some weird stuff. So I was just trying to figure out like, is he really a manager? I mean, what was, what was he wearing? He had a blue shirt on, but he had a, he had a mustache, white guy. Mm. I just, yeah, it's not familiar, huh? No. Yeah, I'm wondering who the heck he is. Hey, Jen, what managers do we have tonight? Well, it's, it's more, I think, it, I think he might have been getting off, but I mean, it's, uh, there's no, there's no, uh, like visual identification, there's no like ID or whatever that they, and they say that, um, and you know, some stores have that, that picture of the manager, you know, you can see that. Yeah, I think they actually put yeah. that one down for some odd reason. Oh, and it changed, maybe change of the manager or something? Um, do you know what manager you would have gotten? What are you doing now? You can't talk this thing on. Yes, you can. Not really. So, okay, I got one of the... Yeah, I, well, yeah, I just want to know, like, he said he was a manager, and I'm like, um, he didn't give me my, his name. I was just like, are you the manager? And he's like, uh, yeah, and that was it, and he left. <laughs> and I'm like, I was going to ask him who, or what's your name? Uh, he had yeah, a mustache. What? Oh, <laughs> you, don't, you, have, you don't have any uh, managers with mustaches or whites? Um, maybe uh, 30s, mid 30s. Or I think maybe glasses. I'd have to look again. But, uh, light brown hair. Just not familiar. Okay. Uh, how many? Do you know how many managers you have? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. See us. A whole us. bunch. Yeah, okay. Over 20. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, he drove a truck. I'm not sure you don't know. Because I know we have a, a certain parking spot for us. So like There's certain parking spots? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, no, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay. All right, the parking lot lights turned on at 5 a.m. I got here a little bit before that. I moved my car for the Walmart manager, but also to position myself for getting some electricity you know there's a couple of those spots around here that i just discovered i could check for electricity they have quite a few plugins but i just went straight to the one that works for me so i'm charging two batteries right now i got three in all and I'll just let one sit out, you know, I'll sit in my car, play with that battery, and let these two charge up. It's a little chilly out, so the charging will be extra slow. I changed pants out here. Got on the thicker ones, but these pants stink. They stink because I let them sit in uh, wet, being wet too long after washing them. I, I couldn't dry them fast enough in my car, so now they stink. But that's okay with this social distancing stuff. And also, I'll just say, they genuinely don't seem to have any security, just maintenance. Ma maintenance might be out here on a Saturday, but uh, there's I could have parked here overnight and no secure Unless they have security that comes in at a certain time and then takes off. They don't have, they definitely don't have security that's 100% here the whole night. Maybe somebody comes in just to make a sweep and then moves on. Just want to confess that the dried onion powder 
seems to have weird effects on me. It makes me fart a lot and causes possibly some esophagus issues like heartburn, but not quite. It's like a weird, weird feeling. It starts out like, it feels kind of like there's soap in my esophagus immediately after eating dried onions. And then it takes about a day or so, it fit, then it feels like it's close to having heartburn issues it's not exactly ple it's not it's not ideal it's it's not something i want to eat every day that's for sure and i thought maybe i'd be i'd mi mix it consistently with uh tomato sauce but i don't i don't think that's a good idea It always feels good to have somewhere to recharge my batteries in a comfortable spot. I can just sit here and just got to pay attention, make sure no one steals my batteries. That's it. I also have to make sure that no pesky grackles peck at my batteries either. I'm trying to find food. With this area being cleared out for the corona, uh, I don't have to worry about so much traffic coming by, parking next to me. I have this area to myself. This bed, bath, and beyond still has Wi-Fi shooting out, so I don't have to go to the Walmart. I want to test the speed, too. Maybe I could upload vids, vids to YouTube through the, through the bed, bath, and beyond speed. Walmart, I think, is slow because videos I download off of YouTube through the YouTube Premium are slow. Um, if this is fast, I'd upload videos here. All this corona stuff has given the springtime animals a lot more room. That mama duck's got like eight ducklings. And there's no cars that it's going to be driving around it. So it can really relax, hatch them ducklings and raise them in a lot more peace. And I'm sure that's going on a lot with other animals, with people, with humans staying indoors more through the spring that's going to bring an explosion of of more uh, wildlife so i have a lower bowel ache right now and it seems like it just happened within five minutes of sitting on the chair at the bed bath and beyond i just i must have pinched something for for five minutes and and then stand up and and the pain is there and it's it's still there an hour later wow i i, I think it's just from sitting what if the non-essential businesses only opened up on the weekend closed for the week that way if people get sick then they'll isol they'll be isolated for the week and only get sick every every weekend it amazes me how much people have increased their dependence upon computers uh, because we're not interacting as much in larger groups. The groups are on the internet, which is highly controlled uh, by the by the webmasters and stuff. So it's, it's, it's concerning because now you can't interact face-to-face -face with whoever um, wild and free. Now it's controlled over the internet.